Hey what's up guys this is Sunip Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot the new Ubuntu 25.10 and Windows 10 or 11 so let's get started so first of all open your web browser and search for Ubuntu now click on the first link which says download Ubuntu desktop now scroll down and you will see the Ubuntu 25.10 and download for the AMD 64-bit architecture and once you have downloaded the ISO file, go to another tab and search for Rufus. So we need Rufus to make a bootable USB of Ubuntu. And after that, download the latest version of Rufus. So once you have done that, close your web browser and insert your pen drive which is at least of 8 GB and make sure to backup pen drive data. And after that, Go to your downloads directory and open Rufus. Now select the Ubuntu ISO file which you just downloaded. Now for the partition scheme, search for system information. And as you can see my BIOS mode is UEFI and I have a secure boot on. So if you have a UEFI system you need to choose GPT otherwise you can leave it on MBR and after that click on start now this process is going to take a while so I'm going to fast forward this part of the video So finally this process is complete, now close Rufus. Now right click on your start menu and open disk management. Now right click on your largest local disk and select shrink volume. Now give at least of 50 GB of free space for Ubuntu. For this video I am going to give it at least 70 GB. Now, after that, restart your computer and boot into the Ubuntu ISO. Now, while your computer is starting, press the boot menu key, which is usually the escape key or F12 key, to open the boot selection menu. Now, from the menu, choose the USB option and it will boot into the USB of Ubuntu. So after booting into Ubuntu ISO, we are finally greeted with the installer. So first let's choose a language, I'm going to leave it on English. And select your keyboard layout. Now it's better to connect to the Wi-Fi network during the installation. So let's connect to the Wi-Fi network. Now, if you are trying Ubuntu for the first time, then you need to choose try Ubuntu and make sure that everything works before actually installing. But since I've already done that, I'm going to choose install Ubuntu. Now, here you need to choose the option which is interactive installation. And after that, choose the option default installation. Now, make sure to check these two checkboxes so that you are up to date on your drivers and additional required softwares now this is the very important step now you can also choose the first option which says Ubuntu alongside 
Windows Boot Manager. This is the simplest and easy option. If you want to tinker your partitions, you can also choose manual installation, but for the simplicity, choose the first option. It's the very easiest and simplest method. Now choose no encryption. Now type your username. And for computer name, I'm going to leave it on Ubuntu and type your username now set your password now choose your time zone and click on next now it will give a brief summary of your installation and your partition layout so if you are sure that your data is safe and the desired result then you can click on install so finally the Ubuntu installation is complete now click on restart now move your pen drive and press enter Now while your computer is starting, press the F2 key to enter the BIOS menu and in the boot priority, make sure that the Ubuntu has the highest boot priority and then press F10 key to save and exit. Now each time you boot your computer you will see a grub menu to choose between the operating system. So as you can see. So first let's boot into Ubuntu to check if it is working or not. So as you can see we are able to boot into Ubuntu. So now let's reboot and try to boot into Windows. Choose the Windows Boot Manager to boot into Windows. So as you can see we are also able to boot into windows so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel thank you